Around two months ago, I produced a video on these, known as Solids of Constant Width, and that video went on to become my most popular video of all time, which is pretty nuts. And a lot of people, for a start, were a little bit confused as to why I said these would roll like a ball, which I'll clarify in this video, but the second biggest request of that video was if I could make a ball bearing out of these crazy looking shapes. Well, yes and no. Let's get started. Welcome back to Maker's Muse, guys. So just to recap, these are known as solids of constant width and they can be made with almost any odd sided shape. So these are created using a triangle, this is created using a pentagon, and you can go up and up and up till they get closer and closer to a true sphere. And they're known as solids of constant width because no matter what angle they're at, the top to bottom distance is always the same. So I said they roll like a ball, and they do. They don't roll across the table like a ball, but they do roll, if you put something on top of them, perfectly level, no matter what you do. This plane of glass is not changing in height, so they're not gonna roll like a dice or a rock or a potato. They roll perfectly level, which is a really curious uh, aspect to these strange shapes. So my biggest request in that video was if you could make a ball bearing from them. And at first it seems, yeah, well if they roll like a sphere would do underneath an object and the top and bottom distance is always the same, why shouldn't you be able to make a ball bearing? So you'll notice this thing here has a flat object, so essentially it's just a 2D version of the, the solids of constant width. And I drew this up in Fusion 360. So the take was to draw up a basically kind of like a roller bearing, but using these solids of constant width in a way that's 3D printable. And I will put this file for free up in the link here if you care to print it, but I'll get into why it's kind of useless in just a minute. So first things first, calculating what it, that distance is for these objects. How do you know? Well, what, I, what you can do easily with an STL file when you go to 3D print them is you can just scale them accordingly. So you can just set the X, Y, Z scale to whatever you want and it will always be that distance from top to bottom. But in your CAD software, it's a little bit more tricky because you can't just enter a uh, sort of dimension on your, on your triangle, for example, because the final shape will be different. It's actually not too bad. What you can do is actually just drop a line in from top to bottom and then dimension off that. And I did a whole video on using relations in Fusion 360. If you wanna check that out here, it makes it really easy to just change your overall height in the CAD software and then it will automatically update. But for the bearing, I didn't actually draw these directly in. I just drew a sphere in their place, which I guess is the first hint. Why do these objects roll like a sphere or, or circle but don't look like them. Well, to demonstrate, I'll get one of these out, so I'll just uh, unscrew it. I designed this to be easily uh, put together and undone. So I'll pop one of these bad boys out. All right, here we go. So as you roll this shape along the table, you'll notice that it kind of doesn't roll smoothly. It rolls in a kind of janky movement. You know, the speed changes. It, it, Looks like it's uneven, but the top, if I roll a piece of glass on it, again, like the 3D ones, you know, it's perfectly smooth. So what's going on there? Well, although the top distance is the same, the center point of these objects is not, which is why you can't use them as a wheel. There is a bicycle using these sort of objects, these, these objects of uh, solids of constant width, but it doesn't use an axle, it uses rollers on top of the wheel to then, then let them roll properly with the same distance from top to bottom. It doesn't use an axle. So, that's, mean, that means you can't use them as a wheel, right. But in a roller bearing, why can't you use it to, to run a bearing? Well, I'm just gonna put this back on with only a couple in there. So here we go. So this is our Objects of Constant Width bearing. And I can spin it, and it does actually work. But if I go slowly, you can see what's happening. Okay, we've got one of them rolling at the top, rolls around, drops down, rolls around, drops down, rolls around, drops down. Which actually works, this does work, but because of the nature of this bearing, if I let them all drop down, it all falls apart. So I need that last piece in to make sure the gaps aren't too wide. Let me just reset that. 
And we're back. That took a long time to find this last one. So we've got them arranged in the bearing and I can just pop this last one in here, like so, and just push it into place. All right, screw this cap back on and we're back in business. Uh, if anyone's wondering how I made the screw thread as well in Fusion 360, I used an Acme thread, uh, which is trapezoidal and it seems to actually print quite well, just if you're interested. All right, so we've got our pieces all in place now. And you think, okay, it's working, but look closely, what's happening? The shapes aren't rolling around each other. They're simply sliding. The top ones kind of flip around, but you imagine if there was a complete lack of a gap, then they wouldn't be able to turn because the distance between each other changes as they rotate. It's not constant like a sphere. So the takeaway from this, if you look at a roller bearing or a ball bearing, there is ball guides. So the balls are nested with each other and there's little gaps and the balls kind of almost slide next to each other as they roll around the inner and outer races. This can't happen here. With the objects of solids of constant width, they can't do that because the distance between each other changes as the objects rotate around. So that's why this is a 2D version because similarly, if you did 3D versions, the distance changes. For example, here on its side, that's the middle point and it sticks out all the way there. Middle point, now it's equal distance. Similarly, it's all the way there. So they're not equally distanced from the sides, which means when they're rolling next to each other, it's not gonna work. So there you have it guys, another interesting exploration into these wacky shapes. While you can kind of make a bearing, it's not really gonna work as one because they don't have the space to roll evenly next to each other like a normal ball would. And for those people who are really upset that I didn't roll these things enough in the previous video, here's a minute of me just rolling these things for you set to music. Thanks for watching guys. Looking forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later guys, bye. Is the latter half of the 20th century. century. And man has sent rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit. And man has sent rockets into deep space. Man has sent rockets into deep space. Man has sent rockets into deep space. And he has actually walked in Spain.